Hello everyone, I'm Jugger Wright and this is season two of my Minecraft Bedrock Survival Let's Play series. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to episode 45 of the Minecraft Bedrock Survival Let's Play series. If you're new, this is our world and you can be a part of it. We are here back at the starter base again at the beginning of this episode to go over a few things that's going on here. And we have a new friend. And like I said, it's our world. So leave some name suggestions down in the comments. Uh, also, we're going to need names for villagers. A lot of villager names. If you have any suggestions, you can leave those in the comments as well. Let's go take a look. So one of the first things I want to show you guys is here at the Fox Sanctuary. Even though we don't have enough to breed us any foxes, we do have one fox down here. I'm sure more will pop up in the future. And it looks like it's getting dark, so it might be a good idea to go ahead and catch some Zs. Our villager breeder is up and going. I put two clerics in here this time so that these guys wouldn't interfere with other trade stations. And... I actually did level one of them up enough to buy some glowstone dust from so that'll be very useful and they've also been busy so we have villagers in here they must be attached to the barrels up in our attic so we'll have to get them some new professions I have to go through a, cu a few curing sessions and everything get their prices down but uh... Operation Villager Repopulation is underway. We'll probably just take a couple of these guys over to our Stronghold base. And I think that would be the best way to go. So I need your suggestions. Do you guys think we should do like an underground railway? Or with the Stronghold being north of us, should we just do an above ground railway? If we do that, it's probably going to run through the sky a little bit above you know that would be the best way to go and I wanted to show you guys Dr. Zombie the third I got him in here for the conversions uh, we can just get you out of the way so I can put this block back so let me know what you guys think underground railway or above ground um, again the above ground railway uh, we would probably do like a proper rail line um, and probably from this level here, which means it would be pretty much in the sky most of the way. Uh, we don't necessarily want it where zombies and things like that can interfere with anything going on. So it would be high enough that that's not an issue. And of course, if there's uh, name suggestions for the villagers and our new puppy would be appreciative. But now we need to do some uh, focusing on today's project. And first things first, we're going to have to do some resource gathering. So if we take this map here that we're on, and you can see where the desert is across the way there. Uh, it's a few hundred blocks over on the far left side there, just uh, uh, below landfall. But I think that would be a good place to go get some sand. We're going to need a ton of sand. We're going to go ahead and stock up for a while. And I know where that small coral reef is that we passed. And we're going to go get all of that and use it some of that in today's project as well. So first things first, we're here down at our dock. We're going to go ahead and take a boat ride over to the coral reef. It's just outside of the little cove here and to the east. So we're going to go do that. And it was a pretty small one. So we're going to gather all the coral blocks and the coral fans. And uh, we're going to use those on some of those on today's project and projects that I uh, have plans for in the future. We're not going to do anything with that area. And it's a small coral reef. So... Normally I would feel bad, but uh, not so much for this situation. After getting a little bit sidetracked, here we are. Um, as you can see, it's uh, 
it's not very big, but I think it's going to give us, well, that's interesting, rotten flesh and copper just waiting for us. Uh, I think it's going to give us the uh, variety that we need, at least uh, for today's project, and uh, at least a good start on the next project that we'll be using this stuff for. We have a little bit back at the starter base also that we can add to it, and that'll help get us a good start. And it seems like we've got Drown all around us, which is, yeah, going to be a little bit annoying to deal with, but not a problem. I should have brought water breathing potions with me. Would have been useful. There's actually quite a bit more to the area than I thought, so this is going to work out perfect. And again, we're not going to do anything with this area. It's a small one. Uh, normally, I'd be trying to preserve the aesthetics of these things but uh, this particular situation we know where a much better looking one is it's a little bit bigger if we ever want to do anything with it it'll be there waiting for us whereas to this one here is just too small to really worry about for anything of any kind of project scale that uh, we would want to do with something like this so I don't feel bad for taking any of this at all and it's gonna come in quite handy and I think it's gonna be completely worth it this is actually taking quite a bit longer than I expected it to but uh, that's all right we're getting quite a bit more here than I expected to also which is great so we also got a ton of tropical fish in buckets so when we find an axolotl we can bre start breeding plus we're going to need some of them tropical fish for today's build and uh, this is what we've got so I'm really excited to get to work on this we're going to be all the way at the end but first uh, we still need to head over to the desert and I think the best way to do that is not going to be by boat. That's much better. We're going to throw the elytra on. And it has been raining a lot uh, in the game the past couple Minecraft days that I've been working on this. So we're just going to fly over to the desert and gather up a bunch of sand. And like I said, we're going to get way more than we need today so that we have a little bit of a stockpile moving forward. So not really much of a desert here, so we're going to head straight down to the bottom corner of the map. Uh, it's, it's a bigger desert there, and we'll be able to get a lot more of, for what we need. So here we are, and I'm just going to get as much sand as I can before we need to go mend our shovel. That's the goal, is however much we can carry. And we'll collect some of the dead bushes and cactuses along the way. Why not? And definitely watch out for the husk because that hunger thing is not a joke. Is it just me? Is there something satisfying about gathering a bunch of sand in the desert? Especially with a good shovel. Um... Collecting sand for ocean monuments and things like that. Just stockpiling up like we are right now. It's actually kind of relaxing, I find. One of our future projects will definitely be a nether tunnel so that we can get a portal up out here. And we can design a nice little tunnel from our hub. And it'll make getting here so much easier if we... Uh, cut through the nether or we could always fly um, I think the nether route might would be quicker especially if we were to like set the tunnel up where we could fly through it so this is what I managed to gather I got this much sandstone and then there's that extra little pile of sand after filling four choker boxes so that's two double chests full of sand and a little bit of sandstone that should hold us over for a little while Shovel is just barely holding on. So that means the next stop is going to be the blaze farm. We can get some more blaze rods for fuel. Get the XP we need to mend everything up. And 
little bit of extra experience to maybe do some in extra enchanting with. We still need to get some enchantments on our backup armor that we're missing. So it's a win-win. Well, we are on level 41. By the time I get all my tools repaired, my elytra, uh, the shovel is going to take a minute. Uh, what level do you think I'll be on? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to guess 45, maybe. Our shovel's barely holding on, so yeah, it's going to take a few blades to repair it. We really get a lot of blaze rods uh, repairing tools here. I got a couple stacks over in that chest over there uh, that are still just sitting here that's never gone back with me. But there we go. We are so close to level 47 and I got that many blaze rods. Uh, two stacks and almost a half to go with what's in the chest over here already. I'm just going to take one stack with me and we'll save the rest for later. Now to smelt down a bunch of glass, and while it's smelting, we'll go do some of that uh, enchanting we were talking about. And uh, we'll be able to grab a little bit of extra XP from... I brought the dog with us. Uh, we'll be able to get a little bit of extra XP from the glass when it gets done. Uh, these tools here seem to be... I think this is the stuff that's done and ready to go. Yeah, so we just need to get some enchantments on that top pickaxe. It needs to be fortune. Everything except unbreaking three on the helmet. And uh, we need unbreaking three on our axe. And we'll see what we can, if we have any luck. Oh yeah, that should have been my desert shovel. Alright, so it looks like we have two books and plenty of lapis. Let's see what kind of luck we have. Um, let's see, smite three. Anything else with it? Just smite three. And multi-shot one, maybe something else. Efficiency three, uh, no need in keeping that. Yeah, no more books, so uh, let's uh, see real quick what we got going here. Uh, yeah, we're going to disenchant these and try again. All right, let's get our books back in. All right, knock back two. Don't necessarily care for that. Let's see if we get anything else. Piercing three, quick charge one. Nope, we'll disenchant that. Sharpness three. Uh, we may hold on to sharpness three. Yeah, I think I'm going to get some leather and some paper and make some more books so we can hold on to the... Yeah, we got a Sharpness 3 book there. So we're going to hold on to that, disenchant this one, and use up our other few levels. And this time, Fire Protection 3. Uh, let's see if it comes with anything. Just Fire Protection 3. Let's disenchant it one more time. And... Let's see. Look at the C2. Uh, we need all the helmet stuff, but we're not getting any low levels enchantments that would work to combine for that either. Well, level 29. We'll uh, get our glass and some more books and we'll come back. Let's see if we can get enough XP to get us over level 30 between these two furnaces. Uh, yeah, that got us to level 30. Let's throw this glass in here. And we can do one more enchantment. This is why we haven't made time for a slime farm. Like, we have plenty of slime balls because, uh, there are several slime chunks in this stronghold base. And every time I turn around, they're in my face. So we end up with a bunch more. All right, let's throw these in here, and then we'll grab some leather and some paper. We'll make some books, and we'll go back and get another enchantment. All right, so let's take one of our new books, Protection 3. It's just Protection 3. 
All right, we'll disenchant that, and oh, let's see, Aqua Affinity would be our next one, and we definitely need that. So, yeah, uh, it looks like we'll finally get an enchantment we need. We just need to get three more levels to get it. <laughs> we can go ahead and combine these Sharpness 3 books and get Sharpness 4, though. So we just need a Sharpness 4 book to make a Sharpness 5. And this is long overdue. Uh, let's see, I think this ought to be a pretty good spot. I like that spot. We'll go ahead and put us a clock here so we can tell what time it is. That way we know if we need to sleep or not. Uh, before we go out into the night, we can just sleep over the day. Alright, so here we are at our first gateway, coming up on the gazebo rebuilt. This is our, basically our starting island. Uh, this is our first outer end build. So we want to give some kind of uh, decoration to the area. And I thought I had some ender pearls stashed away, but I guess not. So I've collected a few ender pearls, so we would have them just in case we need them. And I'm going to clear this out to open up the rest of this area and make it level. And this is where we are going to put our aquarium. Somewhere is around here, so we can enjoy it from our gazebo. This looks like a pretty good spot. We want a 10 by 10 interior, so we are going to go 12 blocks with the glass. That way the inside is 10 by 10. And I think we're going to have to get the sand covered with water pretty quick so that the Endermen don't run off with it. But we're going to throw some, some of the corals in here that we gathered to add a little bit of color out here and bring some life to the end with us. And I'm, of course, going to have to fill this ground in here so that it looks a little bit more level and fits our needs. And this should do just fine. Uh, it's not going to be a huge aquarium. It's not going to be super tall. But we do want to be able to look at it and enjoy the scenery. Uh, if you've ever had a fish tank, you know how relaxing it can be to just sit there with your morning coffee or whatever it is you like. Or even in the evening and just watch your fish swim around and just kind of relax. It, it helps create a relaxing environment and I'm thinking this is uh, what this is going to do for us. It's going to help create a more relaxing environment instead of the intensity that you normally get when you're out here in the end because of the void. So we're going to make everything water source blocks and fill this tank up. Hopefully that fish doesn't swim out. I didn't even consider that. I might should have went up one more level but I wanted to be able to get back out of here. And we're pretty much going to have to do this layer by layer. That way uh, we can get in and out. Because at least in Bedrock Edition you cannot put ladders on glass. Uh, so that's also why we have the Ender Pearls. Uh, just in case we get stuck in here we can Ender Pearl out. Hopefully avoiding the void. And where did our fish go? Oh he did jump out. That's so sad. The most challenging part of this is trying not to look at the Endermen while building and uh, having accidents. <laughs> uh, so, I'm again, I'm just going layer by layer. Once we get it up a decent amount, we will... I don't know, this may go... We may go six layers high, something like that. Like I said, it's not going to be a huge tank. And it appears that the Endermen can still are sand through the glass. So that's that may be a problem. But uh, we basically want to build this thing up, get it full of water, and then we'll come back in and add our corals and the rest of our fish and all that kind of stuff. So I brought a little bit of bone mill just to help uh, give us a little bit of life down here on the grass. And I don't have any sand on me to fill that spot back in. And the water does not go to the top. It's got to be down one to keep the fish in. And as you can see, the Endermen are taking a lot of the grass 
right through the glass so I, I didn't really think that was going to be an issue uh, we may have to figure something out with that but uh, I wanted to bone mill the sand and get some life in here so uh, let's let's uh, let's work on that let's get some bone mill going and maybe get rid of some of the taller grass but just spread some life around in here add a little bit of color and see what we get and we'll just work off of that with our coral reefs all right so we'll just start with our red one here and just kind of it's not going to be very big stacks but we just want to add a few in here to give a little bit of color of each of the different for each of the different ones that we have and it's not a huge tank so it should go fairly easily and let's get some yellow in here or purple we need purple yeah let's put that there and then I believe yellow is the only one left so let's put that over here we'll fill in the holes where the sands missing and we'll be able to see all this from the outside that's the good thing and now we just need to turn our fish loose so we can interpearl out of here and I hope that didn't go too far oh whoa Oh my goodness, <laughs> that went a lot farther than I thought. Uh, that could have been so bad. Let's uh, get back over here to the gazebo where it's safe. And now we'll begin releasing our fish in here. And add the extra element of life to this uh, dimension. With all these tropical fish. And... I think it's going to really help bring some life to this area that is much needed. And I I mean, I know I'm putting the fish in now, but uh, I think I, looking at it from here, I think I want to add a couple more layers up on this, make it just a little bit taller. Uh, stand back and take a look with this out of the way, but... Yeah, it's kind of stumpy. I would like it to be a little bit taller. It's a little bit shorter than I really think it, we want for what we're going for here. All right, so I've added two more layers to our tank. And I'm going to hunt some Endermen here and gather up a couple stacks of Ender Pearls. I want to leave some in a barrel here. And I want to put at least, uh, like a st leave at least a stack in here for now, and a stack in our chest coming into this portal. So I'm gonna get a couple stacks, and then I'll meet you guys back over at our stronghold base. Alright, before we end the video, um, this is currently where the path to the gold farm stops in case you don't remember or you missed the episode where we were working on this. We need a bridge to go all the way across over there. And I was thinking about possibly doing that on the next stream, which uh, I would like to get back to streaming. And that would be Sundays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Or at least that's the idea right now. I don't know if it'll be this coming Sunday. It might be next Sunday before we can do that. But I would really like to I would really like to get back to that. So go on over to Facebook and put in a vote on the poll that we have there and let me know what you guys think. Uh there's a few different options. You can add your own option on what you would like to see in the stream. And my Facebook page is in the description. As well as my Twitch information. So if you're not following me on Twitch already, uh, go ahead and do so. Uh, also, we have a Twitter and a Reddit. So uh, anywhere you guys want to socialize, uh, 
I, I try to stay up with that and uh, I will try and my very best to keep that active uh, so you can find me on discord and just kind of let me know uh, again there's a poll on the Facebook page let me know what you guys want to see in the next stream I'm gonna get this ready to go at the level uh, over that matches up over there but uh, in general from this bridge on the rest of the way uh, possibly could be something that could be worked up on a stream or I could just make a video out of it uh, you guys let me know what you want in the comments below and don't forget villager names and a name for our dog if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends we are so close to 50 subscribers and I would like to do something really special for the 50 subscriber mark uh, maybe we'll do a really cool fireworks show for that let me know if you guys have any other suggestions, but uh, it, there'll be more to it than just the fireworks show. I, I really want to do like a special video once we reach the 50 subscriber mark. Also, if you are one of the people watching this that aren't subscribed, go ahead and do that and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future notifications and you can catch uh, everything we do here in our world and we kind of build it together. And I will see each and every one of you in the next video.